Hey everybody, I'm making a new Heroclix video, and my case of DC Rebirth just came in! Yay! I'm so excited to open it! Um, I mean, if you're a DC fan, this is your one set a year! Um, you know, and it has a lot of really cool sub-themes like Teen Titans and Justice League and a little bit of Justice Society. All those sub-themes I love so much. I'm not a, as big of a fan of the Justice League of China, but whatever. Um, so I have a case to uh, uh, open up. I'm hoping this will be one video. Uh, it may actually end up being two videos. It really depends on how long it takes me to go through all this. Um, you know I love to talk. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna take my time. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know, talking about some of my favorite pieces and all this kind of stuff. So sit back, relax. We're gonna, we're gonna be opening up this case of DC Rebirth. It may be two videos, uh, maybe one. Um, if you look down below, I have like a running, like, um, like a, like a, like a, like a checklist. Uh, of the super rares, the primes, and the chases. Uh, because it's a case, I should get six super rares on average, um, maybe five or six on average, and then one prime, and then one chase. But there has been there has been discussion, people. There has been discussion, people, that some cases have two chases, two chases, um, and uh, that would be pretty cool. Now I'm not I'm not that huge on the chases. Um, I would, the only one I'd probably even keep would be the Green Lantern one, because you know Green Lantern is my favorite superhero. Um, and he has a really cool, like, oh, you spawn a bystander, well, I get a bystander plus one type thing, which is kind of fun. Um, super rare wise, I think my number one one is Starfire. Um, one, because her secondary market value is higher than the majority of the other ones. And two, because I'm such a huge Teen Titans fan. And the last Starfire we had was eh from the Wonder Woman set. Not that good. And and the one I played before that was all the way back with the team bases. All the way back at the team bases with the Teen Titans set. So yeah, Starfire is my number one want. My number two want would probably be Mr. Oz. Um... Just because I think he's going to be a lot of fun to play. I don't think he's going to be meta. Even though some people think he's going to be meta. I don't think he's going to be meta. Um, but I think he'll be fun. You know, him and Unseen and the Skull. And, you know, just a lot of fun. <laughs> fun. <laughs> um, the ones I definitely don't want to see is like Flex Mentallo. Even though he's Doom Patrol, there's just not a lot of Doom Patrol pieces out there. I definitely don't want to see the Justice League of China Wonder Woman. Um, those two in the bombshell, I'm not that big on the bombshell. The rest of them would be okay. The reason I bought a case is because there's like 8 out of 12 of the super rares that I wouldn't mind getting my hands on. So, if I can get like 4 of those 8, I'd be pretty happy, you know? Then I can trade the chase for another 1 or 2 or 3 of them, you know? And then pick up the rest of them on the secondary market or through boosters or something, you know? Prime-wise, I like the common prime. I love the uncommon prime. The Rare Prime I really like too, Justice Society keyword. I, I can live without the super rare prime. So we have the checklist down below. I'm gonna be keeping a running total as the video goes on. If, if you wanna just skip to the very end of the video and say, dude, you talk too much. I'm not gonna watch two hours of video of you opening up a case. Just skip to the end. Skip to the end. You can see my checklist down below and know exactly what I pulled, other than like the commons, uncommons, and rares, which I don't think most people even care about. Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so this is a sealed case, hopefully. I mean, it's, it's in plastic. It's in plastic. <laughs> it's in plastic. So, um, okay. Um, so I think the way I'm gonna do it, oh, I gotta adjust my light, I gotta adjust my light. Okay, I had to give myself a little bit more lighting. Okay, let me open this thing up. Uh, I will mute it in the, in the vid, in the post-processing if this is like too loud or something, okay. Um, I noticed um, with these new bricks, they don't have that plastic thing that the, the booster set in, um, which was interesting. They like kept them together. Now it's just plastic wrapped all together. Okay. It's Christmas.
And I left my door open for this video so my cat may come in. He loves boxes, he loves plastic. I don't think he'll get in the way though. His name is Petey, if you're wondering. Okay, we we kept we kept the brick together. I was I was hoping to keep the brick together. It's a little bit harder without the plastic piece. Okay, okay, okay. So you can't see it. The brick's right here. It's right here, like right next to here. Um, I'm gonna start. Ooh, I need something to open it with. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh. Okay. We'll use these nail clippers. I think that'll work good. Okay. These nail. Oh, yeah. The sharp part of the nail clipper, you know. Okay. Here we go. We are starting with the front, the front side, the front side, the front left. Okay. Here we go. The light booster. The light booster. Actually, I think I can just rip these things. I already have a booster. Okay. We're just we just ripping these things. We don't care about the. Yeah, we just ripping them. <laughs> <laughs> Going WWE on these boosters. Okay, first booster in. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I may have to move these things. <laughs> I have less table space than I thought I was gonna have. Um, let's see. It's good. I, I want to open them up with y'all. Okay. Oh, it's upside down. Upside down. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We we got we got Chicky Girl from God Watch. Oh. Let's see, how, do, how am I doing this? Like this? How am I doing it like this? Hey, we got a cyborg! Yeah, backwards, but can't see it, but okay. And we got, how am I doing this? <laughs> a Superman! Oh no! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> we got the least valuable super rare, no! We got Flex Mentallo! Wizkits, can I send a Sprick pick? Oh no! We got Flex Mentallo! <laughs> no! Okay, well, he's Doom Patrol at least. I mean, that's something. That's something, I guess. We got a Flex Mentallo, people. I, I will take your condolences. Thank you very much. Um. He has a decent little sculpt. I don't. I have no. Uh, so he was. He was a character selected for HeroClix by Daniel Leon, 2016 HeroClix Chilean National Champion. Good. Good. Good job, Daniel. I'm not being joking. Good job on winning your national championship. I'm. I'm happy that you made a character that you were really interested in. Uh, this dude is Doom Patrol. He is 75 points. He has charge, TK, impervious, indomitable, and uh, free. Choose a piece of block and terrain within five squares this turn. Characters treat that piece of block and terrain as clear for movement. Okay, so he can like like make walls like disappear, I guess, for a turn. Uh, but they still can be occupied. He has traded super strength. Okay, okay. Once per turn, when opposing character of higher points hits him, after resolution, roll a d6. He'll. Okay, so he kind of has like a. So he kind of has like a the daredevil. The, the was it the prime daredevil? Yeah, I think it was the prime daredevil that every time he took damage, he could roll. This is only once per turn, so they like reeled it in a little bit. This dude is not bad for 75 points. Um, the TK he has. Uh, if you look at his card, he has TK starting out. Let's see. TK starting out with the charge and the super strength, with impervious and the three damage. I mean, he could hit somebody for five. He's 75 points. His dial is not bad. He's just not a very well-known character. Um, he doesn't have a lot of really good keywords. He has, uh, let's see, Doom Patrol. You can't really see it, but <laughs> Doom Patrol, Celebrity, and Past. Okay, so that it, that was my first super rare. Oh man. Okay, I had four characters I did not want. It was it was it was it was this dude. What's his name again? Mentallo? Yeah. Flex Mentallo, Black Canary, um the Deathstroke and the Wonder Woman. If I pull all four of them, you might you you might as well just you just turn off the channel and un unsubscribe cuz I'll never do another here clicks thing again. No, I'm just joking. Okay, well. Oh well. <laughs> Great start. Hey, Petey, are you checking out the box? He's like, ooh, I like boxes. You know cats love boxes. Okay, next booster. Well, we're just going across the top. Second one from the left. 
Man. Okay. I'm I'm not gonna I'm I'm not getting disappointed because we still have a chase, a prime, and, and like six uh, five other super rares. If I get Starfire, it makes up for Flex. I'll take Flex if I get Starfire. Okay, here we go, 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 here we go. Here we, go. we got Artemis. I gotta I gotta learn how to do this. Uh Billy Batson Uh the other chick from God Watch. Deathstroke and Rare is Superboy. Nice, dude. Dude, Superboy's pretty good. He's pretty decent little rare. And he's Teen Titans. Oh, man. He seems kind of flimsy, though. Oh. That's why he's flimsy. Because he broke. Uh, it's not he's broke. It looks like the glue. The glue where his feet... Um, you, you can see it on the in the thing. His feet go in there. Uh, <laughs> it's meant to do this. Um, yeah, his feet go in there. Um, and I think I just need to get some glue and glue it on there, but, uh, cool little dude. This is Superman's son from like the, the new 52 and stuff or the, the DCU or whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, it goes, it goes back, uh, kind of anyways, he has a pretty good dial. He has a pretty good dial. Um, let me get his card out. That's a good booster dude. Billy Batson, a Deathstroke, Artemis. I got whooped by Artemis earlier in the week. Or during pre-release times. Uh, let's see. Superboy. So uh, he has Kryptonian, Metropolis, and Teen Titans keyword, which I'm thrilled about the Teen Titans. That's why I want the Robin. So you gotta have the Robin to go with this Superboy. Uh, traded. Uh, Superboy can use the team abilities of friendly characters within four squares unless they are uncopyable. So even though he doesn't have the, oh, he does have the Teen Titans. He has the Teen Titans and the Justice League team ability. But if 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 Robin is within four squares, then he can use Batman's team ability. And he has six range, so he could sit in stealth with his 11 for four. Dude, 11 for four for 75 points with Indomitable. The colors are off on this, I apologize, but that that's charge. He can charge seven squares. He has a 14 movement. Holy cow, dude. This dude's no joke, dude. Uh, when a friendly character named Robin hits after resolutions, modify Superboy's speed and attack plus one. So that means he could go eight square charge, and his attack, he have 8 square charge, 12 attack for 4. Good lord almighty, this dude is a beat stick for 75 points. I am thrilled to get Superboy out of that booster. Great, great, great piece. Great piece. Okay, next booster. We're going into the third booster. P Petey's done. He he's investigated. He's like, okay, whatever, I'm done. Okay, here we go. Maybe I can learn how to do this booster opening thing. Okay, maybe we'll get a chase. Maybe we'll get a prime. Maybe we'll buy I don't know. Okay. Okay, okay. We got okay, that's not the prime. That's that's a oh, good prime though, if I got it though. Uh okay, here we go. Okay, we got we got Adeline Kane, white version. Oh, you can't see it. Flip. Oh, I saw plastic. I saw plastic. We know what plastic means. Oh, this is actually not bad. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's Clayface. Okay. 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 So, yes, I was talking with some friends, and we were like, yes, Clayface has been a super rare in the last three to four, three out of four more, uh, DC sets. But you know what? This one's kind of different. Uh, this one's kind of different because he has Batman family and Gotham City keywords. So, um, you know, it, it, so like all the other ones have like Arkham Asylum and maybe Gotham City Underworld. This one's like a good guy's clay face, which is kind of cool. Oh, Petey's back. He says, oh, I, I hear more noises. I like, um, he has also a really cool sculpt. I mean, just really dynamic, good looking sculpt. Um, really nice sculpt. Um, and he has Batman team ability, which is pretty cool. A stealthy dude that, you know, if you try to get up on him, he's going to shape change and poison you. And let's see, does he start out with plasticity? Okay, his speed, his special speed power that he has half his doll gives him flurry, plasticity, and sidestep. Um, so, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of a, like a, it's like a, I kind of, maybe he's like Jason. He creeps in, he creeps in the dark. He's like, da 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 You know, like, well, I'm going to come out and punch him. <laughs> and he's like, plasticity, poison, shape change. Oh, PD's a scratching on the thing. I got to get that from him. Nope. Sorry, Petey. <laughs> Sorry, Petey. Okay, you should have just seen him. I pulled it right underneath out of his feet. He's going, 
What are you doing? Okay, now, Petey, don't mess with anything, okay? Be good boy. Yeah, be good boy. Okay. I like Clayface. Um, I know some people would say, like, oh, he's not a good super bird to pull. But you know what? Batman family and Gotham City are two keywords that I collect the heck out of. And he's a stealthy dude. He's 100 points. I do wish he was indomitable. Yeah. That, that's a, 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 a yeah thing. But still, cool super rare. That means we've already pulled two super rares. What the flip? This is the point where you just sell the rest of it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> you pull two super rares out of three boosters, you just sell the rest on eBay. And just so you know, that's the first and third booster pack had super rares. Just for the people wondering. Okay, fourth booster in. And we are at 15 minutes. <laughs> this is not going to be one video. <laughs> uh, but you know I love to talk, so. Okay. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are you got? Okay, I'm gonna try opening them up like uh, away from the camera. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, is that a rare? I think that's a rare. I think a rare was the flash. But we may get more though. Oh, I love that Nightwing. Okay, I think that was our rare, is the flash. Um, this one's really weird. This one's really weird. It's a that's a that's a great booster though. I love that Mr. Terrific. I love the Nightwing. Uh, great, great pieces in that booster. Okay, our rare is the Flash. Not a bad little rare. Um, he's really weird. So here's his sculpt. It's kind of interesting. Um, so this one, um, he doesn't have hypersonic speed starting out. He has flurry, phasing, and sidestep. And then when he uses phasing and moves five squares or less, after resolutions, he may be given a close action, meaning that he could use flurry. Um, so he can phase five squares and then flurry somebody and then sidestep back. And he has um, improved movement characters. So he can phase up, flurry, and then sidestep back not having to worry about breaking away or anything. Um, unless they have like plasticity or something. And then it says, when the flash makes the first attack during the turn and hits until your next turn, other friendly characters with a Justice League keyword can use probability control, but only to re-roll their own attack roll. I think they all have something like that. I'm usually not a big fan of something like that because it's so situational. Um, he is 70 points. He is indomitable and he has perplex. He has 18 combat reflexes. So this is a flash that wants to get on you. He's 70 points. That's, that's pretty affordable, pretty affordable. Um, he wants to get on you. <laughs> giggity giggity and he's gonna have a 20 if he's up close you're trying to punch him and he can perplex it up to a 21 so um and he has the perplex so he could, he has 11 attacks starting out he could go up to a four damage he go up to four damage phase five squares up and do 11 to 11 for four flurry so this is a very different flash i don't really know the storyline from this but um, Indomitable, 11 for four possibly. I mean, this doesn't, pl to, I would totally, totally believe this was a totally different character. But it's honestly looking at the doll and stuff, he's not bad at all. So while he may not be my, my flash of choice, that one will, uh, for the time being, it's the 45.1 45 from Elseworlds, the common. Um, has like 19 defense, uh, like, like a, 13 14 hypersonic for three damage um while he may not always be the one you know that's a really interesting flash indomitable is really nice okay this is the last booster on the the front side on the right so the front right okay we've already pulled two super rares i don't know i mean are we gonna have six booster packs of just not much we have a prime maybe a chase we get flex in two chases. I'm good. Flex in two chases. I'm good. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Okay, there's a rare. Whoa. I saw it. You didn't see it, but. Yep. Yep. That, that's so tricky. I'm like, hey, we got a rare. And then only I can see it. But we got a chase. Oh, boy. That's chase number one, maybe. Number one. 
maybe chase number one? Okay, so it was the chase. Um, I mean, again, other than the Green Lantern chase, I don't really care about him. Um, so, hey, if you want a Devastator, hit me up. Oh, no, uh, it's probably gonna, I'm gonna open it up to local, local trades first, and then, you know. Devastator, I would say probably maybe one of the least uh, sought after chases. Um, I don't know. A lot, a lot of this game is, is ranged based. A lot of this game is ranged based. So like, um, you know, but let's talk, let's talk about Cyclone first. Um, Cyclone, man, I'm sorry these colors are kind of muted. Um, it, it, I don't want to try to adjust things during the thing. Uh, I might be able to adjust things in prose processing, but um, Cyclone, she is a JSA character, a Justice Society character. Her name is Maxine Hunkel. Um, I think she's related to Ma Hunkel, which we saw in uh, the Harley Quinn set, um, the the uh, Red Tornado. Um, she is uh, she has traded Force Blast telekinesis once per turn when Cyclone uses either after resolution she, she may use the other one at no cost, but only to target the same opposing character. Um, so it's it's interesting for 50 points. She can carry people up. She can TK people. She has three damage, four range, double target. The double target, I don't. Mm, does she have in cap? She gets in cap at the end of the doll. Okay. So I mean, honestly, you gotta have TK for your name theme teams and stuff. She's a great piece for that JSA team ability, so she can be sharing that 18 defense to the person she carries up. She's not bad for 50 points. I'm happy to have her. Really happy. Okay. On to the chase. On to the chase, we have the Devastator. So this is like, um, all the chases are like, what if Batman fused with another character? And this one I believe is, what if Batman fused with Doomsday? Um, so they're all real name Bruce Wayne, but they don't have Batman team ability, they don't have uh, Batman family or Gotham City keyword. This one has Dark Knights, Brute, and Monster. Um, Let's see, uh, he can be played at 225 and 150. Uh, I'm trying to get this right for the camera, there we go. Um, let's see, at 225 he starts out with a 12 for 5, 19 invincible. Can he be outwitted though? I mean, if you're spending 225 points for him for all that, can, he, can you just outwit him? Um, and that, that's the, the real problem. He has the Doomsday Virus trait. Choose an opposing character the Devastator hit this turn and give that character a Doomsday Virus token. This game, characters modify their combat values plus one for every Doomsday Virus token they have. What, they get stronger if you hit them? At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6 for each character with the Doomsday Virus token. If the result is equal or less than the number of Doomsday Virus tokens that character has, deal that character one unavoidable damage. Oh, okay. So, um... So if they have two tokens on them, then they get plus one to all their values. But then on a one, oh, I don't know if I liked it that much. Um, he basically makes them stronger, but then there's a potential to hurt themselves. But uh, I mean, if they roll good, then they just get stat bonuses. Um, he's okay. I mean, his damage value is pretty decent. Hit. His his defense his values are decent. It's just he can be outwitted, and I don't know if I'd play him. So, okay, so um, <laughs> this is definitely where you would sell the rest of the boosters. Two super rares and a chase pulled already. Yeah, you got one super rare out of five uh, five boosters, and you're just like, yeah, I'm getting rid of it. And we we're 23 minutes into this video. There's definitely gonna be another video. Um, because, um, if it's over an hour in After Effects, it just doesn't render, or it has issues rendering. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just taking my time. Now, okay. <laughs> I'm keeping my, uh, keeping my hopes up. Um, we can still get a Starfire. I want to get a Starfire. Uh, it, it'd be nice to get a Prime in these five boosters, too. So, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. This is the, the, f uh, on the back row, the, the, the left. Total left one. Okay, that's not a rare. No, it's not. Okay. Prez. Boom. 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 And... Ooh! Okay. Well, we got our last super rare. And he's almost out of the booster already. He wanted to get out of the booster. Okay, let me let me see if I can get this dude out through the through the bottom. I don't want to break this dude. Let's see. Can I, can I get him through here? Okay, here we go. Here we go. This dude's not bad. I, I kind of wanted this dude. He, it's Lex Luthor, if we don't know. Um, 
he, he, I wanted him because he has Justice League keyword, and he, he has some interesting abilities. Um, so we've got all our super rares out of that brick. Um, here's Lex Luthor. Um, so he has Apocalypse, Justice League, Metropolis, Armor, and Scientist keyword. Um, he is a really cool thing. Uh, he's protected outwit and it's traded. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it, it's points that you invest into a higher point piece that's going to make him more durable. And that's what the Devastator doesn't have. You know, you're, you're spending so many points, you're just going to get outwitted and it's like, wham, wham, you know. Um, he starts out, if you play him at 200 points, you start out with Hypersonic. If you play him at 100 points, you start out with uh, Running Shot, Psycho Blast, 4 damage. Um, so his trait says, Protected Outwit, once per turn for all characters with this trait. Uh, when an opposing character would target another friendly character with Outwit, both characters roll a d6. If your result is higher, that friendly character has protected Outwit until the end of your turn. So, until your, into your next turn. So, what's cool is, he can, he can, he can help all your other dudes on your team from anywhere on the board. Um, as long as you can roll higher than your opponent's d6, basically your entire team is unoutwittable, which is pretty cool. And that's traded. Um... And then, let's see, his special damage that he only has one click on, I think I'd play him at 100 points, um, is he has leadership and outwit. When Lex Luthor uses leadership and succeeds, this turn, if he uses outwit, you may choose two powers instead. The leadership is nice. It means uh, you have one, one extra action total. The Justice League with the leadership is nice. I could remove tokens off of pieces. Um, you know, uh, and then he, then he, then for, for the first, eh, <laughs> Uh, for like half his dial, he has his special defense power. It's impervious. Lex Luthor takes a maximum of one damage from the first attack that hits him each turn. That's pretty nuts. Uh, I mean, so the impervious means he's minusing two from every other attack that turn. But then the maximum is one. And you can't outwit him because he has protected outwit. Now that is a beat stick. That's probably the first super rare out of this that I've gotten out of this brick. That I'm like really excited to get. Um, that's actually really cool. That's really cool. Ha! <laughs> I just told everybody, hey, sell the other boosters. Okay. Now watch us get a prime in this, and I'm just eating my words. <laughs> sell the rest of the boosters, and someone else pulls a, a rare, or a prime, a rare prime, boom, and uh, a super rare. Okay, this is the second booster from the back left. Petey's being a good boy. He's, he's not meowing or anything. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. We can still get a prime. We get a prime, a prime and a chase. If we get a prime and a chase in this brick, then there's a very decent chance our next brick will also have a chase. So, let's see. Okay. Oh, uh, you can't see it very well. Okay. Oh, so our rare is Aquaman. We have boom, boom, and boom. Okay, we got both. Oh man, this is like a Atlantis theme booster. We got Aquaman, Aqualad, and Aqualad. Oh, Tempest. That's what their name is. Uh, I really like the Tempest. He has like a free smoke cloud, but instead of uh, spawning, uh, instead of spawning uh, hindering terrain, he spawns water, which is so cool because so many of these Atlantis pieces uh, re rely on having uh, water around them and stuff. I am so happy to get this Aquaman. Um, like. I've been playing the Aquaman from uh, uh, Batman vs. Superman, and like, yeah, all the other ones uh, were really old. Like, we had like a monthly organized play prize kit one that was old, like 2016 old, and like, uh, before that was Trinity War. So to get like a new Aquaman, and he has a great sculpt, great sculpt, he is indomitable, he is 80 points, that is affordable. He has uh, charge, super strength, in vulnerability and leadership. Leadership again is very useful because uh, he is just the keyword. Um, he has, if he occupies water terrain, he has free move up the four squares. Again, that's where like that tempest comes in. You put water underneath them, free move four squares, then charge five. I mean, it's pretty nuts. Uh, JLA team ability. He has another one lead in the charge things. You know, if he makes the first attack, all the other Justice League people can use exploit weakness. It's very situational. His three traits. His third trait is he can use mind control as free with a range of eight and triple target, but only the target characters with the dolphin speed symbol. So uh, he's good against other Atlantean people, which is interesting. Um, uh, I mean, 80 points. He has a pretty decent dial. Um, you know, I think in one of my videos I'll talk about him being one of the, the ones I wanted the most from the set. 
uh, at the start and the end of his dial, he's really tanky with the invulnerability. In the middle, he's more offensive with the blades and stuff. Uh, 11, 10 attacks all around. Uh, 80, 80 points. He, he's great. He's great. Um, we've gotten some great rares. Uh, Superboy, Flash, Cyclone, Aquaman. I mean, great rares in this set. I mean, just I mean, there are some lamer ones. I in, in the pre-release, I pulled a dolphin, like a good 30-point rare to round out my team. <laughs> I mean, she's not bad, but when you're trying to build like a 300-point team, yeah, 30 points is not going to go far. Okay, let's see what we get. This is the the one in the middle in the back. Boom! We got Cyborg again. We got the Deathstroke. We got the Batman and our which one is our rare? The Batman? Hey, I think our Batman. Batman of China is our rare. Um. No. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, Batman of China is our rare. Um. He's not bad. Um. I saw somebody play him in the pre-release. Um. He's not bad. There. Uh. He's indomitable. Um. All the. All the Chinese. Uh, <laughs> all the Chi the Chinese. Yeah. Uh. Chinese. Um. Justice League pieces. Um. They can't be. Uh. They can't be perplexed or prompted by characters that are not. Um. The China Justice League people. Um. So. He is, he can be played at 100 or 75. If you play him at 100, you get running shot in cap and a uh, leadership outwit perplex. When Batman uses leadership and succeeds, choose an adjacent friendly character that shares a keyword or is lower points. That character can use perplex until your next turn. Um, a lot of utility there. He also, he has th two traits. The one trait says, you know, you can't be perplexed or prompt by people that don't have Justice League of China keyword. The other one is, um, Okay, so he has traded toughness. That's good because he starts out with just ESD and then bounces on a combat reflexes. So he has traded toughness. It modifies range plus two. Just oh, and and flight. Okay, so he has all that going. Just playing off as a trait. Flight toughness modify range plus two. That gives him a seven range. That's pretty decent. Then power action make a range attack modify an attack and damage plus two. After resolutions, he cannot use this trait. Oh, oh, okay. So if he don't use that power action, then he has flight, toughness, and modify range plus two the whole game. But if you decide to use the power action and bump up his attack and damage plus two, that would bump him up to a 13 attack and five damage. Then he loses flight, he loses toughness, and he loses the range plus two. But talking about like an alpha strike, like to come out of nowhere and like, his damage values stay at three from a lot of the doll. And then bounce into two. His attack values stay at 11 or 10. So at any point, at any point, he could be like, okay, I'm bumping from this, like he's on his third click. I'm going to bump from 11 to 13, from three to five. I'm going to outwit your defense. And uh, I'm going to charge in and um, like hit you pretty darn hard. I always just make a range attack. Still, that works just as good. I'm going to outwit your defense, hit you for five. Um, and he can do that at 75 points. He can do that. So, um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Again, I'm not a big fan of the Justice League of China pieces just because we're probably never going to get... I mean, we may get like the Aquaman, you know, Dragon Sun or whatever. We may get one or two other pieces going forward. We might say Icon exclusive with the keyword. But it's not a keyword I can collect and build around for years to come. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm, when I'm collecting teams like Gotham City, Batman Family, Justice League, Teen Titans, stuff like that. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Second to last, uh, second from the right booster on the back row. <laughs> I don't have a visual. Maybe I was, maybe I should like set up a visual on the screen. I may try to set up a visual um, in post processing. I use that term like after effects basically. <laughs> okay, we can still get a prime. You know, we can still get a prime out of this. I mean, we got two more boosters. I mean, eh, I mean, whatever, you know? Okay, let's see what we're gonna get. We're Okay, we got common dude. Chicky girl, boom, boom, oh, Shazam, woo, he was the rare I wanted more than anything else, and it, it, he was basically the piece I wanted more than anything else in the set, Shazam, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go see the movie soon, so don't, don't spoil it in the comments, comment section, I'm gonna go see the movie soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe, yeah, tomorrow may work, or maybe today, there's still time today to go see Shazam, okay, we're, we're talking about Shazam, if you didn't know, we didn't know, he's a bad mother, shut your mouth, Shazam, okay, um, 
Oh man, the sculpt is so good. Uh, just just to point out, thank you. Oh, we can't see it. Thank you, Howard Brock, for making this character or having this character made. Dude, look at this dude. It is Shazam. Um, he can be played at 200 or 100 point setting. Uh, at 200 points, so that hypersonic probability control, impervious, uh, no, invincible, uh, with indomitability. Uh, indomitable, <laughs> indomitability. What the frick? Um, and then whenever he starts the game, you can choose outwit, opposing probability control, pulse wave, mind control, and, and you, you choose one of those. And then he has protected that. Oh no. Okay, maybe I should have shut the door. That was my cat. I gotta teach him. Do not jump up on the table. That was pretty, everybody. <laughs> I, I'm I'm learning to live with this cat. <laughs> Okay, so if you choose Outwit, Opposing Probability Control, Pulse Wave, or Mind Control, you choose one of those. And then he has protected that where um, X is whatever you chose. So he can be Protected Outwit, Protected Opposing Probability Control, Protected Pulse Wave, or Protected Mind Control. I think Protected Outwit is probably what I would go with. Um, so it, it means another beat stick you can invest points into and he's not just going to be outwitted by a cheap dude and just blown off his dial and that's always really really good uh, his damage reducer is indomitable he's actually mystic team ability that's really in interesting 200 points 100 points i mean I, I could go on forever on this dude um if he stands in one place because it, 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 on his lower point setting he's just going to charge in and punch it pretty hard if he's just standing there Every turn he just stands there, he gets a plus one to his defense with his other trait, Power of Zeus. Um, it, he's, he's really great. And he can use Quake during the hypersonic instead of a regular attack. Um, so, I mean, dang. So he, he could run out there, punch you for four, or he could run out there and hit everybody else for two. It's really, really nifty stuff. Great rare. I'm so happy. I would like to get the Black Adam too because he, Black Adam also has Justice Society keywords. Look at these keywords, dude. Look at these keywords. Fossa City. Okay, and Justice League. <gasps> Justice League International. <gasps> Justice Society. <gasps> oh, look, all the keywords. He has all the keywords, dude. He has all the keywords I would ever need him for. Ah, oh, yeah. We got some good rares in this brick. Okay, what are we going to get? The last booster. The last booster on the right. Can it be a prime? Can it be a prime? So far, we got Clayface, Lex Luthor, and Flex Mentallo with a chase. Um, that's not a bad thing. Lex is one of the more expensive one on the secondary market. Clayface is one of the lower ones and Flex is the cheapest. So we're kind of, eh, but if we can get Starfire, if we can get Starfire or Mr. Oz, come on, just one of those two in the, in the other brick, come on. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be great. Or a second chase would be great too. I'm, I'm getting greedy, aren't I? I'm getting, just, just post in the comments. You're getting greedy, Matt. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that looks like another Nightwing. We got, um, you know, the dude. The China. Ooh, Beast Boy! Yeah, dude, we got some good rares! What was I talking about, dude? We got some good rares in this brick. This this brick did not, this brick did not let let up on the rares, dude. Man, dude, I got, I got beat up by this Beast Boy. Um, I'm gonna try to get him through the bottom. There we go. I got beat the heck by this Beast Boy in, in, in a sealed game, dude. Like 60 points. Um, and you have this thing where you can like choose eagle form, gorilla form, octopus form, or T-Rex form. And it gives you certain powers. So like my opponent, he would choose T-Rex form. He would be able to charge 10 squares. It, the T-Rex form gives him um, giant size. So he has giant size, giant reach two. So you could charge six, charge five, attack two squares away. So that's like a charge six, basically, with blades claws. Um, so uh, ten, ten attack, blades claws, minimum two damage because of the three damage he has. Um, he was beating me all the crap with that, basically. And then, and then when he wanted to go defensive, he'd go eagle form and become tiny. You know, um, or even at one point turned into octopus form, perplexed up his damage to four, and was able to flurry me for four damage, four damage. I mean, and the sculpt. Look at this sculpt. This sculpt is amazing. This, this, I'm, I'm so happy to have Beast Boy. Amazing rares. Shazam, Beast Boy, The Flash. 
uh, Cyclone, Superboy. I mean, gosh, I mean, we, we nailed it. We nailed it with it, the rares in this. I mean, love the Beast Boy. Absolutely love the Beast Boy. Gosh, um, that, let's let's pull them all back out now. So we got our rares. These these are the rares we got. Um, I mean, even the Batman. Even the ba oh, we got Aquaman, dude. We got Aquaman, dude. We got the Flash. We got some really cool rares in this. In this, and we got a Superboy that is is still there. It's still there. He's still good. And then our super rares out of this brick was Flex. Let's see if I can move these guys over here. We got Flex. We got Clayface. We got Lex. We got Lex and Flex. That that is the tag team, Lex and Flex duo. And then our chase was Devastator. Um, I'm happy, honestly. I mean, I, I mean, out of out of the four, I don't really want. I don't think I'd ever play the Black Canary. I don't think I'd ever play the Wonder Woman. I don't think I'd ever play um, the Deathstroke. So I mean, the Flex, I might actually see myself playing. He's not that bad. Um, he's just the cheapest one on the secondary market and the easiest one to get. That's why I didn't want him. Um, and we got Devastator, which is kind of cool. Um, you can kind of see Devastator. Dev Devastator and Doomsday next to each other is kind of funny looking. They, they look very similar. Um, I wonder if they could tag team at one point. Um, anyways, that was our first brick. Um, our, 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 it's, we're up to 41 minutes. Um, I, I can't go over too much. Um, I, I'm going to try to adjust the color for the next video. And um, I will hit you back up for the second brick unboxing maybe we'll pull another chase that would be awesome um thank you so much for watching this video i'm gonna um call it now and uh, i'll see you for the next video soon thank you so much have a great day Bye bye